Oh, 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 dang. That's nice. a good one. That's nice a nice one. Smell. He's a fatty. Alrighty, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day. Not going to ramble on at all. We got an action-packed smelt and burbot video. Best smelt fishing day of the season so far. Without any further ado, here is the video. What do you got there, Wade? Uh, smelty smelt. Smelty, 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 smelt. Smelty smelt. Definitely a smelty smelt. Exactly. Dude. <laughs> is it a lake trout? Nice. Oh, nice. that looks like a baby. Smelt. That looks like a baby lake trout. That's an eater. All right, I'm going to give you a different bag. That's a freaking smelty right there. Where did I put the rest of those bags? What pocket did I put them in? This My button. GoPro's not even running. Dude. I'm so ready to catch eight gallons of smelt. Got all the baggies all ready to go. All right, uh, this is guys, yeah. Lake Superior and Munising, and Here, we pass just got over. a smelt. Fishing with all the guys. Smelty, yeah, smelty, smelt, smelt, smelt. Me and uh, me and Scott over here are one for one on smelt. And David caught our third smelt of the day. Did not know he had it on, so we didn't start recording. And turns out, yes, he caught another one. David hooked up. I guess I'm not allowed to catch a smelt. Um, Bags over there. Okay, throw it in your bag. You got a bag right there. I got the. Well, that's a. Well, let's put him in that bag for now. This is. I already ripped the one over oh. here in half. It can't be. Probably. This is the. No, he got off. Gosh, dude, that was that might not that was way too small to be a burbot. I can't hook a smelt to save my life. Oh my god! Yo, just let us sit. There's gentle jigs. Yeah, Alex, you just gotta <laughs> can't even That is not a smelt. Oh yeah, it is. That's a good smelt though. Pin your drag up, you scared me there. Oh got a crappie, big one. Yeah, that's that subtle jigging. <laughs> Is what it is. Yep, yep, I saw. See, so you just have to talk crap about yourself and you catch one. Oh! Oh! You hooked on the ice? Yeah. Oh, you were way up there, eh? Dude, yeah. you were so wrong. You thought it was gonna hook on the top one. You should have let it see. You should have let it stay down. Yeah, throw them back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Head off, bud. Get him! He's off. He's off. Fish on, fish off. Captain Limprest. Going to the Olympics. I'm just gonna let it run for a second. Dead stick. That's what it takes. <laughs> Here's Alex. <laughs> <laughs> this is miserable. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get the shot of him setting out on his smell. <laughs> Gives jaw jacker a whole new meaning. 60 pound. Thing. Oh, you ain't got nothing. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I do. Big one. Big in. Oh! oh the top top hook. Hook. You should have let it down there. The you would have caught eight rig more. Works. It works until you don't actually let it sit there to catch more than one, but up to six mount. We're about 800 away from our limit. Night's still young. Pitter patter. We're oh getting at her. Oh, gosh. Get him. Get him. Get him. He won't hit it again. He's, He's on there. He's on there. He's got it. He's got it. He won't hit it again. He's got it. Oh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex just had the hook on a 10-pound largemouth. I wish. I keep on catching him on the ice. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Whoa, dang. That's nice. a good one. That's nice a nice one. Smell. He's a fatty. Look at that gut on that girl. Look at that boy there. She pretty. <laughs> That's a nice smell, brother. Oh, he's getting okay. No, he's getting a little. He's getting a little mean. Take but spike. no, that's a burbo. Time with him. Scott hooked up. Take oh, okay. No, I thought he. Oh, I thought he got off. Let's see. Looking Let's like see. a head shaking. Head shaking. You feel head shaking. Keep Keep, keeping my rod tip up. Rod tip up. <laughs> Keep my oh. Up. Oh, Burbot! Oh, wake oh, ugly guy there. Oh, poor man's lobster. Gator roll, watch him though. I, I mean, I'm ugly, but I'm cuter than him. <laughs> He's kind of cute though. He, he can't really quite gator roll yet. First burb of the night. He's pooping. Oh. He's pooping, watch out. Everybody close your nostrils. You can smell it right now, actually. That's nothing. You know nothing about. You know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> you know nothing about smell, John Snow. <laughs> I 
Oh no, he's you out. ain't got him. You ain't got him. No. <laughs> you ain't got him. Oh, you have a little baby rod on. What do you got? Smelty smelt? I think so. Could it be a coho? Could it be a coho? That's a little. Oh! Healthy. Now we're only. He slammed it too. 893 away from our limit. Freaking baby. Burbo. And he's off. Burbo. You better set the hook, man. I do. I ripped his head off. I need to put a new one on. Maybe it's the, the spoon. I'm, I'm, it's almost like I've been using this same bait for two years now. Rod the switch. Rod the switch. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, I'm swinging a mess. I'm getting pissed off. I've literally bit. seen it go like. Like one like for five now. That. Just tip down a little bit. I'm going to still get someone tangled up. I'm gonna adjust my uh, no, you're, yeah, it's all about the angle of the dangle. Oh, on the burbo rod, burbo rod, <laughs> probably the one I just missed. You gonna come back over here? I'm gonna miss him again. Money back guaranteed. Oh, he's not, yeah, he is. Yep. You got him? Yep. Coho, could it be a coho? Oh, come on. Oh, smelter, smelter. Bag him and tag him. That was on the Cromer. The Cromer, you not send the hook hard enough. Captain Lumpress. That was literally like a foot under the ice. Two, two foot under the ice. I I'm that. upset right now, boys. Are you serious? What do you got, Burbo? Yep. Don't lose them, you're gonna lose them. Probably, don't feel very big, but I haven't caught one on this rod yet before, so. Probably a 42 inch I bet. Yeah, really. Alex hooked up right at my freaking hip, basically. Little, little guy, little burbo. They all taste the same. As you do that, you drop them in another hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's free. Open We're going to have to wrestle him. He's making, oh, no. <laughs> making, he's making his last. He's making one last ditch effort to get away. God dang it, I don't want to be here. <laughs> oh, I made him in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think we want him to go in that bucket. Oh. Dude. Oh, my God, does this reel need some oil? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about this is a bigger one, but talk about a wrist workout. Oh. That is that is a <sighs> stiff rod. That <sighs> <I do. sighs> That's all I can do to just turn the handle of this 18 year old rod. Scott hooked and up. Here you go in five. Five, four, three, three two, 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 five, <laughs> four. Oh, wow. Just watch the deucer. Six. Ooh, here he is. Back. Yep, a little nicer one. Oh yeah, there oh, you go. Oh yeah, that's a nice That's bird. a 20. 20. 21. 22. And let's not get frisky. Oh my God, as soon as I put a sharp hook on, hey, that's some, that's right. kind of weird. Now I just want to take the reel off that other rod. Yeah, just jigger, let it hit bottom, jigger up, let it drop real good. It's all about the jigger. You got to know how to jigger. Little, little slow action. It's funny, right as I was about to show you how to do it, I caught one. <laughs> He was hooked. He wasn't going nowhere. Mm. Is there smelt in your mouth? No, it looked like it. No, it's just hair. <laughs> yeah, that ain't gonna work. I'll tell you what, it felt like a bad. Got him. I got him. Two rods. And... <laughs> you want to open that door? All right. Oh, well, <laughs> Wade just caught his burbot. I had my rod sitting on the bottom. I've got another one. Appears to be. Relatively large in size. Hard to tell when you have a really old Thanks, reel that is not oiled. They should record in that whole thing. Lily, ju I just had that hit and there you go. There it was. Oh. oh, that little baby. Still, they're getting bigger though. Oh my god, dang it. Ate the whole thing. That's what happens when you just let lay on the bottom, I suppose. Forceps, there should be forceps in that milk crate. Yeah. 
Do I'm not. The pliers? Yeah, I got pliers. That no, that ain't gonna do it. All right, yo, uh, so I kind of want to drop something down so I can catch the bird. Oh, my God. How did that even happen? It was sp spit it right no, out. No, it was spun around his line. The, the hook, look at the hook. Oh, oh my God, dude. Yeah, look at that. It was in his mouth, though. Yeah. But it got, yeah, okay. The door, oh, all right. Door me, David. You want a burbot rod? Here, you take this one. I'm going to put a new burbot spoon on my other one. Two seconds. Okay. This one pulls up. <laughs> All right, we've. Uh, it, it would appear that the majority of the crew has switched from smelt mode to burbot mode. How are you hooking these up? Small um, chunks. That, that double one, trouble hook. Right through its like eye. You know why? Dude, look, look how much smelt is on this. Well, yeah, it's because they're coming in underneath you trying to eat it. <laughs> Alex, you're gonna keep smelting. Yeah. Somebody's gotta. Somebody's gotta take one for the team. <laughs> Take that row when you're ready, you David. You got another row. You don't want that one. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, there's an, Scott know. has another one over here if I want to, but I'm gonna go down this hole right here. These, I mean, why is this? They're still sharp. Oh, no. We straighten it. No, one. it's still gonna work. You can use this one. Yeah, yeah, it says it's gonna be less chance to get no, not this one. tangled up. Those right. spoons, yeah. Those spoons one. move a lot. But go somewhere over to your right with this. If you can. Well, can or the, well, yeah, yeah, you can do that hole. Look at that screen. No? No, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. No, yes, maybe. Yeah, yes. No, <laughs> Get him, David. Get him, David. No, he's off. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, he's off. Oh. oh, what do you got, bud? Another smelter. Oh, there. That's a decent one. Yeah. Decent eater. Decent. Bones will fry right out of that girl. Swallow the hook again. Mm, 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 Get mm, her back down mm. there. You might be gone. No. I got mm. mine. Oh. oh, too slow on the trigger. It's a weird one. I missed a verb too. Literally like right when All you right. shot the hook. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do you got, David? Oh, oh nice. smell, what right? a hype squad. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big one. <laughs> Charge up my burbot spoon. Burbot's been dead for longer than I'd like to tell you guys about. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Any fish that's caught, whether it's a <laughs> six inch smelt or a 60 inch burbot, it don't matter. Right in the bag. Don't mess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 It was a solid save. Like I said, hype squad for life. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of my next nonprofit. We just go out there, we drink a whole bunch of beer, and uh, <laughs> whenever someone gets a little nibble, oh! he's excited about catching a minnow. <laughs> he catches a two inch perch. Oh, yeah. You got there, weighty boy. Smelty smelt. Oh, look at the Look at the girth on that girl. Short and fat. Withhold your comments on that one. Thank you. <laughs> bag them and tag them. Felt like that got rocked while I was sitting between my legs, too. Mm. Oh my god, the comments I could say about that one. Oh, we got a little lull in the action. Alex is. Oh, what's that about? <laughs> oh! oh! I think that's about a 25 incher. Is that a call hole? <laughs> Looks like a coho. <laughs> Could be a coho. Or a really small anchor. I, I should probably go from burbot mode to smelt mode just because there doesn't appear to be any burbot in the area. <sighs> it's good to be out. <laughs> just good to be out. I got back to back to back to back smelting action. Top, top hook, eh? Oh. One of the top hooks, yeah. The top hook. Just over here trying to the catch sabiki. burbot. The sabiki coming in handy. Now, what is a sabiki, Alex? Dirty sex toy. Yes, yes, yes. No, yes. it's a uh, line uh, hooks tied up the line from usually a weight, but in this case, I have a Haley jig on the bottom, of course. Yes, yeah, best ice fishing lure ever. You yes, know. yes, yes. Oh. What do you think? You're tough fish. or something? No, I'm catching a little too. Oh. Much fish. <laughs> Hook again. 
With no bait or bait? Bait, bait it up. Just single hook? Just a master baiter. Master baiter. Single Alex hook. Boyce, the master baiter over here. Can't buy a burbot. Over here, pounding away. I'm Wade's gonna, about to nap out. Slowly getting at my two gallons over here. Nap out, tap out. It, it makes it even better. Uh, about eight. Top uh, hook again. Okay. Or middle hook. Hey. Wait, you better get up. Get up and ready, brother. Smell are coming in hot and heavy. Over here, burbot pounding away. Got to 20, bud. All right, we're about 780 away. You boys, you boys better get her going. <laughs> okay. Top, top. Little late on the trigger. David just got another smelty smelt. You're not hitting the Haley jig That's anymore. a good one. They're hitting, the, they're hitting the little hooks. I'll tell you, the burbot are not hitting the trout and pout. <sighs> Away she goes. Wait. Coming over. Oh! Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, there's way too many holes in this shanty. Not in the shanty, but in the floor of the shanty. We only got 25, 25 holes to fish. And uh, apparently this one does not catch any fish. All right, everybody. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. As far as smelt go, at least to the best of my knowledge, you can catch them in all of the Great Lakes. At least here in Michigan, you can catch them in a couple of inland lakes. Higgin Lake, for example, is one that I know of for sure, as well as rumors of Lake Angeline up here in the UP. Smelt fishing definitely, definitely, definitely seems to be better at night. I mean, we were sitting over 60, 65 feet of water. and had a solid column on the fish finder from the bottom up to like 5, 10 feet below the ice. As you saw, the speaky rig... Haley jig at the bottom as a weight, and I think you're allowed, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you're allowed seven additional hooks for smelt tied. I think we had them about 12 inches apart. The one downside to the sabiki rig is when you catch a fish on the lower hooks, as you saw a couple of times, you reel up, you reel up one of those top hooks it tends to get stuck on the bottom edge of the hole, which... Um, can be rather frustrating. It can be rather difficult to get unhooked when your rod's only like two and a half feet long and you got four feet of ice. So my usual method that we've used the first year we've tried the speaky rig is just one single Haley jig, catching them one at a time and the best we've ever done. We had three guys, myself and two other guys, and we caught them, I mean, nonstop from like seven in the morning until two o'clock the next morning. We had 550, which was four gallons. In Michigan, you're allowed two gallons per person. So I have come to the conclusion that in a 24 hour period, I don't think it's physically possible to catch a limit. Not that you need a limit. Physically possible to catch a limit. Physically possible to catch a limit on a single hook. So we're trying out that Sabiki rig. The only downside is though, don't really have the patience when a fish hits one of the hooks to wait for another fish to hit the hooks. But Alex did some research. I guess people are saying you can take a little piece of nylon, put it on the hook, they get stuck in their teeth, and that holds them on better. As well as people are even saying that you can use bits of beef jerky to catch them. Uh, that was the first first time we fished in the new Otter Shack. Absolutely love it. It's designed for six to eight people, but it is beyond comfortable for four people. I think we had somewhere around twelve holes drilled in, drilled in the shanty. So. Uh, Definitely, definitely plenty of room. It was pretty cold, so luckily we had the lantern too to give a little bit of extra heat. I think it was like 20 below or 25 below or something like that. So if it's super cold in a big shack like that, you definitely want two heaters. As far as that, if you guys have any questions about smelt fishing or about burbot fishing, the burbot fishing started out real hot and heavy. I think we ended up with like five or six, and then the burbot moved up shallower, and we had too much of an operation going on where we were at to want to pick everything up and move it shallower. And... Seems like right about that 60 to 70 foot mark is where the majority of the smelt like to hang out. They do eventually, or you know, every now and again go shallower a lot of the time they'll be deeper too. Because I mean, honest to God, there was probably a couple million, if not a bazillion of them underneath us at one any given time when they actually come through. Also, if you guys would like to see a catch, clean, cook, smelt video, let us know. We'll do that. 
it's going to be a busy couple of days. I'll definitely be out doing some smelting, doing some perch fishing. Hopefully, 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 finally, finally catch some cohos. Have yet to catch one this winter. And also, um, hearing rumors of a lake trout bite, which will be like a five, six mile snowmobile ride at least to get to. So we're going to give that a try as well. So we've got a lot of good content coming for you guys. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you're feeling. Leave a comment. We love talking with you guys. Until next time, happy adventures.